Hi everyone, I'm Mary from Joyful and Mary Quilting and if you love rulers as much as I do, you probably have found that with every ruler you purchase, it becomes more and more difficult to easily find a spot where they are visible, easily accessible, but not in the way. So today I want to share with you a fantastic tool that has truly organized my quilting workspace from Purple Hobbies. It's called the Purple Hobbies Ruler Stands. And just when I think that I have everything I need to organize my sewing tools and notions, I learn of a new product and that takes my organization to a new level. Be sure and watch all the way to the end because I have a great discount code, a coupon code for you if you're interested in purchasing any of these products. These ruler stands are custom designed to help you organize your quilt rulers efficiently. First of all, let's talk slot size. The ruler stands come in two slot sizes. One is an eighth inch wide slot. These are pretty much for standard rulers that we all use with our quilting. And the other one is a quarter inch wide slot size, which is really perfect for our long arm rulers, although it still works for the 1 8 inch rulers as well. The 1 8 inch slot size is ideal for all the rulers that we use regularly when we're quilting. It comes in two lengths. This is the 20 slot length, which is about seven and three quarters inches long, but it also has a shorter one that's 10 slots, about four and a quarter inches long. So for my long arm rulers, the one quarter inch slot stand is just perfect. This also comes in two lengths. It has, this is the 20 slot length, which is about 10 and a half inches long, but it comes in a shorter one as well, a 10 slot length, which is about six inches long. What's great about these stands, first of all, it has these little tabs on the front and the back, and it really makes it easy to move the stand, even when it's loaded full of rulers. For example, I have this ruler stand right here. I can easily move it with those tabs and the rulers stay put even though they are curved rulers. So in addition, the bottoms have these non-slip feet on them. On the empty stand, you can see that they have it on both the longer and the shorter ones. This keeps the ruler stand from moving, even with the vibration of my sewing table if I'm sewing. The rulers in the stand are not going anywhere. So that part is a huge feature for me because I have them close by where I'm sewing. Another great feature is you can choose between the flat bottomed stand or the curved stand. And the curved stands are really useful for keeping your round and your curved rulers from rolling away, which is what you can see with this stand right here. I love these stands because they help me keep my rulers organized. So I'm just gonna show you first of all how these work. The quarter inch stand I can put, this is a curved stand, so I can actually add all of my curved rulers. These are my Creative Grids circles. And as you can see when I put them in, they don't roll away because the inside slot is curved. So I've got all of these that I can use, but I still have extra space here. I don't have a whole lot of curved rulers, so I can also use this for the straight edged ruler as well. So I can add my triangles, I can add my hexagons, I can add my square rulers, and they all stay in place nicely. Now, if I am using my quarter inch stand, these I like to use for my long arm rulers, and they are a little bit wider, so I can easily stand these up as well. They fit, which in most of the ruler stands that I had previously, the quarter inch rulers didn't. So I'd end up just stacking these somewhere, putting them in a drawer, whatever, and I lose track of them. So if I add all of my long arm rulers to this particular stand, even my long arm ruler with a handle, everything fits and it's perfect. These are my quarter inch rulers from Amanda Murphy. They're called good measure rulers and there are other long arm rulers as well. The ruler stands that I have had in the past work for my eighth of an inch rulers, but they didn't work for my long arm ruler. So this is why I like this one. Now, if you take a look here, I like to group my rulers according to whether or not I use them more frequently. What are the ones that I use most often? If you look at this stand here, 
I have my Creative Grids rulers because I use those most often as well as my Quilter Select rulers and I just have them organized according to size so I can see them. They're not stacked away in a drawer where I forget that I have them. They're right here. I even can put my 8 inch by 24 inch ruler in the stand. It works well. I can still move the stand easily without having anything fall out of it but it also stays put when I'm using it. Now my block lock rulers I have over here in this stand. I use my block locks a lot but I like to keep them separate from my other rulers so I have another stand for that. In addition I have my perfectly clear slotted trimmer in here. These are all kind of my my trimmer rulers and I like to keep them here. So do I have all of my rulers in these stands? No, I don't because I need some more stands. But what I will tell you is that when a ruler is hidden away in a drawer or in a closet, they just don't get used or not very often anyway. Not because they're not great rulers, they are, but because I just forget that I have them. I still have a few more rulers that I need to bring out so that I will use them and I need another stand to do that. Maybe two stands, maybe three, I don't know. But I can keep them on my counters and they work really well. I highly recommend these Purple Hobbies quilt ruler stands. They keep my quilting space so organized without overwhelming it. Some of them are shorter, some are longer. You can hook them together if you want so that you can put them in a space where they need to have a little extra room or you can just have them sitting short where you need them. You can mix and match the sizes and then the tabs will just perfectly match them together. They're reasonably priced and they really make rulers easily accessible and my workspace so much more efficient. They come in a variety of colors as you can see to match my style but I, I like all the colors so I don't really have a favorite. But here's the best part that I told you about at the beginning. If you go to purplehobbies.com and you enter the coupon code Mary sent me, M-A-R-Y-S-E-N-T-M-E, -E, all one word, you're gonna get 15% off your entire order. It doesn't matter what you order from Purple Hobbies, you'll get 15% off. So use that coupon code. I have several products that I love and I use regularly, and with this discount, the price is so affordable. You can go back and look at some of my YouTube videos where I talk about some of the products that they have, and I actually demonstrate a lot of them, and I have not found a product that I don't love. So thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more quilting tips and tutorials. I am always trying to be joyful, but I will always be merry. Thank you so much for joining me.